Welcome back! We're back today with the Dell 3510. If you remember from last video, we repaired this laptop, replaced the motherboard on the warranty and the motherboard for $40. A little refresh of the specs. It holds the Intel i5 10 gen, 8GB of DDO4, 256GB of NVMe and an Intel UHD graphics. Like I said in the last video, we're going to look at what you can play, not about can it play games. Every computer can play games, it's just a matter of what it can play. Since this is Intel UHD graphic or Ultra ID7 graphics, and it is shared with a little single stick of 8GB. Here's the platform size scrolling game we're going to try on. We have multiple of well known size scrolling and some, well, less known one, older and also more recently released. All those games weren't an issue for the CPU, which is a 10 gen i5, but the UHD graphic from Intel encounters some issue. Maxing out the memory, screen tearing, starter, but the majority run really wonderfully. I consider a side scrolling playable when I reach 30 FPS, and uh, obviously optimal when you reach 60 FPS. Since it's a platform style game, I'm going to use an 8-bit Pro controller for some uh, ease of playing. I'm not reviewing any of those games, uh, so I won't be telling you the gameplay or the story of it. For the first title in the list is Anno Mutationem. I had issue recording the sound on this one with my capture card, but in game it was uh, all good. The game is recent, it came out in March 2022 and here the requirement for playing it at best it reached 45 fps but average of 25 playable since it's not a super high pace second title is bloodstain ritual of the night released in june 2019 the graphics look really good the story is nice and if you put the graphics at medium setting you should be able to get around 40 fps which is playable requirement are here they say if you have a potato pc you should be able to play it which is quite true ish but you see, they say you can play with 4G and recommend 8G, but I max out the memory usage. For testing, I had another 8G of memory for a total of 16. And look at that, I'm well over the 8G. Also, my FPS is now in the low 50 instead of low 40. During my playtime, I also noticed way less starter. In third, we have Castle Crasher, a little favorite of mine. I love this game. It came out in 2012, which is quite old, but the music, humor and graphics are magnificent. The story is uh, funny and it ran at max quality at 60 FPS. A requirement, uh, you literally need a potato. The fourth title is Crystal, another favorite of mine. I love the animation, the music and the story. A bit more of a turn based than a side scrolling. It came out in July 2021 and ran well on UHD graphics, max setting and reached 60 FPS. Requirements aren't bad, but still, I'm at 60 FPS. Cannot complain. For the fifth game, we have Cuphead. Released in September 2017, is also a title that run wonderful on the UHD graphics since the requirements are really low. Music is entertaining, the animation is from my parents' cartoon style, and I like it even if I didn't play the title really much. In sixth, we have the teddy bear game Darkest Tale. To make it run, I had to have the second stick of memory, and I'm still getting a lot of starter and barely getting 30 FPS. It came out in October 2021. Next place, we have Exorcist Fairy, released in February 2021, it's a Chinese title, chibi style, and the requirement to play it is really, really low. But for some reason, I need to add the second stick of memory to get 45 FPS. Next, we have Greek, Memories of Azure, 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 anyway, released in August 2021, the story is good, the graphics are nice, and the gameplay really well. The single stick of memory isn't even used all up, and even the UHD graphics are not even capped at the 100%. In 9, it's Have a Nice Death. Came out in March this year, this is still in early access. They even say Intel HD may crash, and uh, did crash, only once. Since there's a note about it, I guess they will resolve it when the game release. In 10th place, it's Heroin Anthem 02, Scale Scares Hold. Released in June 2019, this game requires 16GB of memory and indeed, you'll need to get another stick of memory to run it. There's even a warning when you start a game that you should have 16GB, which I did for this game. The UHD graphic had a hard time on this game, getting it at the mid 20 FPS. The gameplay was smooth even at that FPS though. 
Then we have the famous Hollow Knight, released in February 2017, is a well-known side-scroller and can't wait to see the sequel. Plus it can run on potato, really. Not using all the RAM and even the UHD added easy, playing at 60 FPS for this game. Twelfth, we have Little Nightmare 2, released in February 2021. Carmen says 4GB, but even at 8, the game was stuttering. But if you add a second stick of memory and reduce to medium setting, we can reach something close to a playable 30 FPS without too much stuttering. On the 13th game, it's Loop Mentor. The game came out just two months ago. As you can see, that's what I got. The splash screen of the game and nothing more. No error, no crashes, no blue screen, just that for as long as you want. 14. It's Never Alone, a relaxing title from 2014 with nice graphic. All settings set up at high quality and it runs good. It just need a little more than 8GB to run adequately in the low 40 FPS. For the 15th game, it's Hurry and the Blind Forest. It's a visual chef dœuvre Released in April 2016, everything at max and it runs like water on duck feathers. It is well optimized to run on UHD graphics at 60fps and with the single stick of memory. For the 16th game, it's Shanty and the Seven Sirens. Released in May 2020, it can run everything at max setting and at 60 FPS. Next one is Speed Brawl. Love that quick paced game. Released in September 2018, again all max setting and 60 FPS, with a little help of another stick of memory. And the last game tested is Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. Released in 2017, I got that game from Epic Game Store when it was free and didn't play much at it yet. But for the requirement, you need Alpha Potato, as it requires CPU Any and GPU is HD Graphic 4000. Bonus game, it's Sonic Mania, just because I have it. Released in 2017, for PC but looked like the original one, the title isn't demanding at all. In conclusion, Intel UHD graphics are okay-ish to pass time or play most of the side-scrolling game. Don't rush yourself to go buy a laptop with Intel UHD if you don't have one. Only to show you that you can game on your mom or dad laptop or your own office laptop. And if you're willing to add one more stick of memory for some games, it is still less expensive than buying a new computer. That's all for today's video. You can start to like if you want, or even subscribe. I won't mind. On that, see you next time.